October 15th. 55 BC Titus Lucertius Carus, one of the best of the Latin poets, died. 1564. Andreas Vesalius, a celebrated Dutch anatomist, died. He revived the study of anatomy in Europe, which had been neglected and impeded by the prejudices of ignorance. 1608. Birthday of Evangelist Araceli, the Italian mathematician and inventor of the barometer. 1634. About 60 men, women and children, with their horses, cattle and swine, commenced a journey from the vicinity of Boston through the wilderness to Connecticut River. After a tedious journey of 14 days through swamps and over mountains and rivers, they arrived at the place of their destination and commenced the settlements of Hartford, Windsor and Wethersfield. 1644. Gabriel Dupinot, an eminent French advocate, died. Celebrated for his genius and eloquence, his counsel was often sought by the court, and he acquired the title of father of the people. 1651. John Owen, an eminent English divine, died. His works amount to seven volumes, folio, twenty quarto and 30 octavo. 1651. King Charles, the second, who since his defeat at Worcester had wandered about from one royalist family to another, sleeping in their barns at night and concealing himself in the woods by day, escaped to France. A large oak on which he frequently stood in the woods near White Ladies, obtained the name of the Royal Oak. 1671. John Amos Comenius, an eminent German Protestant divine and grammarian, died. 1711. The Edgar, Admiral Ovenberg's ship, blown up with 400 seamen on board, the officers being on shore. 1728. Bernard de la Manoy, an elegant French poet, died. He also wrote in Greek, Latin and Italian. 1743. John Osle, an indefatigable English writer, died. He is immortalized by Pope and the Dunciad. 1760. Battle of Campen. The French defeated the Prince of Brunswick, who had a horse killed under him, and lost 1,600 men, chiefly British troops. 1764. Gibbon says that on this day, as he sat musing among the ruins of the Roman capital, while the barefooted friars were singing vespers in the temple of Jupiter, he first conceived the idea of writing in the decline and fall of the Roman Empire. 1778. Pulaski's infantry surprised in the night by the British, and fifty killed, including Baron de Bose. The timely arrival of Bulaski with the cavalry alone saved them from utter destruction. 1783. Pilater de Rosier, the first aerial adventurer, made his first ascension from a garden in Paris. The balloon was of an oval shape. 1793. Battle of Turlemont. The French defeated by the Austrians under Clara Fate, with the loss of 2,000 killed, and 24 cannon, etc. 1793. Battle of Maubage. The French under Jordan defeated the Prince of Coburg, being his first defeat in a pitch battle, and compelled him to repass the Sambre. 1797. Celebration at Mantua of the birthday of the poet Virgil, when handsome dowries, raised by voluntary contributions among the friends of learning and rural felicity, were distributed among fifty poor girls, who were the same day married to fifty industrious but poor young men. 1806. Paul Joseph Barthe, a learned French physician, died. He founded the celebrated medical school at Montpellier, and acquired so great reputation that he became a member of almost every learned society, 
and some of his works were translated into most of the European languages. 1808. James Anderson, an eminent Scottish writer, died. His first literary productions were on agriculture, which produced a greatly increased attention to the subject. His learning and research were conspicuous in the various subjects on which he wrote, and he was an original and accurate thinker. 1812. Action between United States Frigate President, Commodore Rogers, and British Packet Swallow. The latter was captured, with nearly $200,000 on board. 1814. Skirmish between attachments of the armies of the American generals Brown and Izzard, each of whom had advanced to reconnoiter the British works. Four men were killed before the mistake was discovered. 1838. Letitia Elizabeth McLean, better known as L. E. L. died at Cape Coast Castle, Africa, of which settlement her husband was governor. Her writings consisted of poems and novels.